Foil boarding has hit the paddling wind and surf community like a raging firestorm. And when multiple world champions like Robbie Nash and Kai Lenny are adapting it, it's a sign that foil boarding is here to stay. I'm here today with Kevin Langre, one of my kite team riders, one of the best kiters in the world, and Mickey Schweiger, one of my team development guys at Nash. And we're testing some of our latest hydrofoil gear, both for kite surfing and for windsurfing. Normally windsurfing, the faster you go, you get a bunch of power in the sail and it's, it's quite a physical sport. You know, there's power in your legs, all the power from the sail going through your body into the fin. And every little chop needs to be absorbed and it's a really engaging experience. You get on the foil and all of that kind of goes away. You're just balancing on this silent sort of air ride above the water. One of the special things about foiling that is brand new I started it about a year ago, and I, of course I saw it around on TV and on the internet, of course, but now being able to ride it on a kite or on a stand-up board or on a surfboard or on a windsurfer even, it's just, it opens up so many cool locations and it opens up so many ways of riding. Kevin Longre has been kiting since he was like eight years old. He's been on Nash as a team rider since he was like nine, and he's, I don't know how old he is now, but he's almost 30. He's been a team rider for a long, long time. He's one of the best kiters in the world, multiple world champion, and good at every discipline. And you see someone like that get on the foil, and they make it look so easy. You know, he's, he could probably do handstands on it while he's riding, but he can sit on it, lay on it, tack on it, jibe on it. But obviously he's got, you know, skills with a kite and on a board that most people will never have. But it's, it's pretty cool to watch him. I've been kite surfing for 17 years and the first time I jumped on the board it was not that I could right away right away you know I had to put a little bit of time in it to get going but I kind of love that I love to start a new way of riding and and I didn't knew it was gonna happen with kiting because you now kiting has been around for quite some time you have a lot of different disciplines you've got the freestyle the wave riding and the big air and now this thing came along and there's just another discipline that I love doing so imagine this the hydrofoil is basically an underwater airplane and what happens is the front wing creates lift and the back wing is a stabilizer, also creates downforce. So when there's two forces kind of going the opposite direction, it creates stability but it also creates lift continuously. And when that wing starts to rise underwater, so does you. And basically the long fin or what we call a mast or strut lifts out of the water. That's connected to your platform, which is the board you're riding. And that lifts you directly out of the water and you're hovering. Flying above the water is basically a dream. You know, everyone wants to fly. And with kiting, you can fly, but riding this board, it's, it's basically snowboarding in the deepest power there you can imagine. You don't feel anything. You don't feel any chop on the water. It's just perfectly smooth. The cool thing about this whole new foil thing is that it brings so much of Stoke back into everyone's riding. You know, Robbie has been riding this beach for I don't know how many years. And I see him go out with a huge smile on his face and uh, I think that's, that's something really special. It kind of brings back windsurfing in lighter wind. It brings kiting, you know, into super light wind and then surfing into conditions you, you would never maybe even ride, like a wave you wouldn't even ride, and it's like all of a sudden the best wave in the world, and that's basically with all the wind as well. It's, it really brings the stoke back in conditions you would never ever go out in. Mm -hmm. 